Hi and welcome to my first session about material nodes in cycles. What I would like us to achieve today is not much, but something. I played with this board game or wooden game when I was little, Labyrinth it was called, and what I think we could do today is some similar thing, just close up. So we do this ball, some hole, and some plastic in in between. Yeah, you see the image, you know what I mean. So we will do this material, that material, and that material as well. And these simple shapes. Nothing much, but a start. Okay, how to do it? Well, let's start right away with some modeling. So... Just really click delete and add a UV sphere, which will be the ball, and a plane. So shift A, plane, scale it up, S10, something like that, and go down a little bit. So G set minus one. And then we should have those obstacles as well. So we can have one of those. Uh, just shift A and select the cylinder. And rotate it a little bit like uh, Rx uh, 90 degrees. Scale it in the Y. Something like that. And then scale it down. Um, scale Y again doesn't matter something whatever and we also do some scaling upwards so S set to make it something like this okay and apply rotation scale we uh, put it out on the plane so just a G, uh, X something, G, set something like this. Then we have one. Uh, and we do a few more. Like uh, shift D for copy. And then G, X. Like that. Could be like that. Yeah. It, that for B. Yeah, it will be enough. Now we should make a hole, and to work easy making a hole and so on, I normally use loop tools, so if you don't have that add-on, you can enable it. So we can just check file, and then go to user preferences, and add-ons, and just press loop, and then you will see loop tools, so press that one, save your settings and you're good to go okay then we have the model almost finished without the hole so let's do the hole select the plane if you don't have that already selected press tab to get to edit mode then press ctrl r to get the loop to uh, and we make one here and we take another one, get something like that, for instance. And we make one Control R every time. Control R again. Yeah, then I will build my hole here. So I take a face, select, press delete, faces. And to make this round in a very simple way, I select the edges. I press down Alt and one of the edges, and now all of those are selected. I do some subdivide, uh, so I press subdivide and five times. And after that, I go to that loop tools add on that I have and just select circle. Okay, now I have a circle. 
I also would like to have something for the bowl to fall into. So I do an extract downwards. So E and set. I just pull it down a bit. It's more for the camera, so it's so it looks solid. Okay, this is the setup, and we can select view camera to see that we have that material and the ball and that material yeah we have everything in place good so now it's time to work with the nodes so let's build another window up here like that and select the node editor and we could also make the ball soft so we select the ball uh, select smooth okay and sorry for <laughs> not being quite finished with the model but you can always see something that you easily can change uh, I don't want that sharp edge here so I will go into my modifiers after selecting the plane and I will select bevel here as well so uh, I can put two on that one now I hope we are finished time to use our material okay we start with the simple one it's the ball and we have as you can see rendered it's a gray thing we would do don't want that gray we want something more so we add a background uh, when working with materials you need two things you need light to see the material and you need other objects that could be reflected in the materials both of these things you will get with a background image so the first thing first is to select a good background image an HDR and I have checked the net a little bit and uh, what I have found is hdrlabs.com uh, and winter forest that is a really white and good HDR when we are trying to get the default uh, yeah uh, pattern or, or format or whatever yeah what, what you see is what you get so if you download winter forest then we can use that one so download it and then go back to blender again and when you are in blender you select the word and uh, use notes background you press the dot you select environment texture and after that you find your winter forest and you use winter forest ref HDR and as you can see everything is really white and clean now so now we can start select solid so you know what what you have here and see so the ball is selected go to material which is the circle here and select new now we have our first material we can put a name on it so just write uh, steel like that because it will be of metal okay so what do we have we have one diffuse and one output of the surface which is the material here and what we'll do now is change that diffuse to glossy we could take it away and add here, but we can, since it's very, very simple to do, change diffuse here to glossy. And if we do, uh, check render, you can see we now have our ball here. It's a little bit too shiny because right now it's like a mirror. So we need some roughness. And you can see if we go down, you get it really rough. You don't need that much, but like, uh, 0, 0 0.2 or something like that let's see so we get it right here 0 0.02 like that okay now you can see it's not 
quite sharp, but almost. That was the first material. Very, very simple. Glossy material and finished. We have a ball. Okay, the next thing we will do is add some wood on the plane here. So we select the plane. If you're not sure, you can press solid and see here. Okay, yes, we have the plane. Good. Then we can go back to render and see what we are doing. Okay, so another new material. This one we will call wood. And an easy thing when doing wood is to use a texture that we already have in here that says wave texture. So if we take wave texture, put yellow to yellow, then we got something here. Now we have to change a little bit on it, but as you can see, it's always like this. You use some type of texture, you go to a shader, and the shader goes to the output. You can have several shaders, you can have several textures. No problem. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to add some color on this one, because now it's right, yeah, it's just black and white. We would like to have some other colors. And that you can do in multiple ways, but in our way we will do like this. Shift A to get something to add input and uh, some RGB. Now we have color here and we have some color here and by mixing them we can get a color out here and mixing colors that you do in color then you have mix RGB. So we just put that one there and another one here and if you change this you can see we now can play a little bit with the colors here. So let's set it to something like brown and rather much there. And now you can decide if you don't if you want everything just for the color, then it's one. I normally think like one is the heavy, the one that is so heavy that it's down, and zero is the one that's up. So Always the top is zero, and one is the in the bottom. And now you have to decide something that you fancy that you think, okay, that looks almost like some kind of wood. So we can stop like this here. And now they are straight, all those lines here. We would like to have them go a little bit up and down and so on. And that we can easily do by changing the parameters here. The scale is how many you would like to see, perhaps something like that. The distortion is how much you want them to bend in different ways. And then you have the detail of the distortion and the scale of that as well. And now you can see, by changing them, it bleeds out and it looks a lot more like wood. Then of course you can play with them t until you're happy and you can also change how much amount of the pattern and the color you would, would like to mix. Okay, fine, then we've done that as well. And the next step we will do is just to paint these obstacles in some kind of plastic black. So that will be the next step. So just select that one and press new again. You can add plastic here if you want to. You can put it as a diffuse. Really, really black. Now it doesn't look so good, does it? No, because now in this case we need to work with two shaders. We need to work with diffuse and diffuse is as you have seen right now uh, no reflection, just the color. So what we need is something with reflection as well. So shift A and shader and here you have a lot of things to choose 
and I will select Glossy. To combine those, you press Shift A again, and you have a mix shader. So now you can combine them, and now you have the uh, same possibility as you had with the wood that you can change if you want much of the glossy or if you want much of the diffuse. However, now we can do even more. When working with uh, materials, then it could be that the reflection is a little bit different depending on position of the lighting and so on. Now it's even spread, so it's if I put it like in, in 500 here, it will always be 50% of that one and 50% of that one. Uh, but that's not the reality. Uh, we will not go into details right now, but I will show you how you can get it to look a little bit more plastic than it does right now, very easily. So just press Shift A, and as an input, you select Layer Weight. And on that one you have Fresnel and you have Facing. In this type of experiment that we're doing right now, we just select facing and we can connect that to FAC here. And here you can decide a little bit how you would like it to look. And I don't know if you see any difference, but uh, if you look at the preview here, you see that it's more light here and less light here, or more reflection here and less reflection in the middle. And that is a little bit how it works in the reality as well. So instead of being evenly distributed, you use more of the black here in the middle and more of the glossy in the corners. So for plastic that works very well. We can press smooth here, it's easier to see then. And since we have set this to plastic, it's very easy for us to select other one. And instead of new, we just press down and select plastic. And now we have both plastic. And we are finished. We could, if we want to, add smooth here as well to get that one a little bit better. But that has nothing to do with the shaders or the nodes here. So that was all for today. Very easy. We have one just glossy. We have one node here or material here with just using colors and a texture, a wave texture, a procedure texture. And we have those two mixed and just put out a diffuse with no reflection at all. If you want to, you can of course put glossy here as well to have a glossy uh, plane. I can show you. It's very, very easy. Shift A, shader, glossy. You put them together, shader, uh, mix, and there you are, and then you can, as I told you before, change it to be a little bit more or less whatever you want to have some reflection. Okay, and finally we used uh, diffuse and glossy for the plastic, but also the layer white, which we will go into in later sessions as well. Okay, uh, setup finished. We will use this HDR even in the later sessions. As I said, it's very white, it's good to use for all the sessions that we're doing, or almost all, I think. Hope you enjoyed the first session, and even if you think this was the very easy, we know everything, and so on, uh, please continue watching, because it will be more advanced later on. Hope to see you then. Bye.